Because of the teacher strike in Poland, I have a lot of time to do a lot of things and you may saw some of that on my Instagram. Those are basically just upgrades to my workshop and some boring projects that I'm not going to share. I also should prepare for my mature exam because it's kind of important, but I'm too lazy to do that and I don't want to waste my time. But here I have finally a really interesting project. I've got the idea for this thing from the Facebook group of Dremel CNC builders. Someone posted right here the images of the 3D printed vacuum cleaner, a small vacuum cleaner that you can put next to your CNC machine to collect all of the dust. And I thought that this is actually a really good idea. So I did a quick research to find how those kind of vacuum cleaners work and I designed my own in just a night or something like this. It's optimized for 3D printing, so it's super easy to 3D print, but you need some support. To make it easy to replicate, I decided to go with the 775 motor. It's really cheap, popular and quite powerful, so it's perfect for this kind of vacuum cleaner. I already have all of the parts, so I will do the test assembly. If it will work fine, I will assemble it completely and explain you how it works. I already attached the motor to this red part before with two M4 screws that are below this turbine and I pressed this turbine to this motor so right now it's quite impossible to take it off. So I'm not going to show you that but it's really simple so right now let's connect this part to this part and for that I'm going to use M3 screws with nuts. Assembly of that is super simple, I will later attach this box like this, I will drill a hole in the top of this box and attach it like this with this 3D printed nut. And that's where we will collect all of the dust. Uh, but right now for the test purposes I will close this hole with a piece of paper, that should work too. It already works really well, but I'm not sure if you can see that between this and this part there is a small gap. And I want to design and 3D print a gasket with flexible filament, so that once it will be squeezed between those two parts with screws, there should be no gap and it should create a bigger under pressure. Someone bought parts for the Dremel CNC on Tindy and because of that I moved my printer from here to the bathroom because I can't sleep when the printer is working all night above my head. So right now I'm printing in the bathroom on the washing machine. It works great, I don't hear it. I uploaded the G-code of the gasket so we can print it right now. I also loaded the flexible filament, I will link it in the description. Gasket is on its place, this nice little white detail between red components looks great and hopefully it will work better too, so let's test it. Here I have the hose that I'm going to attach to this vacuum cleaner and this is just, uh, I think it's called corrugated pipe or something like this, the internal diameter of that is 18 millimeters, and that's what I'm going to attach to this vacuum cleaner, like this. But unfortunately I don't have anything to drill a hole in this box so I have to go to the workshop, but before I go to the workshop I will try to explain you how this will work or at least how it should work. 
Here is the first drawing that I did on the whiteboard just to see how I should design that. This is the red hose and that's how the dust gets sucked inside. That part here is called a cyclone separator and that's probably the most important part of this project because it should separate dust from clean air. Basically dust together with the air that is sucked forms a vortex inside this part and theoretically dust should fall to the box below and air should go to the turbine and out of the vacuum cleaner. Will it work as it should? I have no idea. Ok, enough for the boring part. Let's go to the workshop. Do you know that when I tell you that I'm going to the workshop, it's not that I'm just going to the basement or garage because I don't have any of this. I actually have to drive here because my workshop is in another city. And that's like 20 minutes in a car or half an hour on a bike because of the traffic. But I'm finally here and I will start with cutting a hole in this box. And to cut it, I will use... I will use this thing. I have no idea what's the name of that, but it looks like something that can cut bigger holes. And that's what I need because obviously I don't have a drill bit with diameter of 45 millimeters. I somehow managed to break this box and because of that I cannot drill anymore, I will fix this break with a tape but I have to finish this hole and I think I will try with utility knife In the future I will replace this box because it's broken and it looks kind of terrible but because Mythbusters proved that you can fix anything with a duct tape why not to fix this box with a duct tape? Because I'm still testing this thing and I'm quite afraid to run it on full power, I brought with me my lab bench power supply so that I can control the voltage and by controlling the voltage I can control the speed of the motor if it will work fine without any vibrations or something like this. I will just solder a connector and use this 12 volt 8 amps power supply. It will be perfect for this vacuum cleaner. Let's connect all of that and see if it can collect any dust. Fortunately my dad have been cutting some wood for the last few days. So there is a lot of test material. This is really amazing. I never expect this project to work so well, but it works really well and it not only collects the dust, but this cyclonic separation, it works amazingly well. I never expect it to work at all, because you know, I'm pretty sure there are some strict rules to design this cyclonic separation properly and I just opened the Fusion like 1st AM and I was just like, let's design a vacuum cleaner and here it is. The other day with my dad we have been drilling uh, holes in the wall and this kind of dust is a little bit too small for this cyclonic separation to work properly so most of it just go out through this thing so it's not really good but for wood, aluminum and steel it really picks up all of the dust and you don't have to use any kind of bugs just this box this project is really cool I, I already like it the only downside of this project is that it is loud unfortunately but most of the vacuum cleaners are loud and also the CNC is loud so that's not a big problem. Now I have to design some kind of holder or attachment to easily attach this hose to the Dremel CNC and then we will test if it works well with a CNC machine.
I printed this very simple and small hose attachment, it took like 30 minutes to print it and you can easily attach it to the Dremel CNC without any modifications to everything else. Right now I will put the hose in place, like so, so that it will collect the dust properly. The external diameter of this hose is 22mm, so if you have the same hose you can easily print this holder. Alright, and now I will also cut this hose because it is too long. The vacuum cleaner is quite close to the Dremel CNC. Yeah, I think that should be fine about here. I will mill the racket. I already milled it a few times. This is like a benchmark for my Dremel CNC to see if everything works perfectly. And this time, instead of Dremel CNC, we will test if the vacuum cleaner works perfectly. Let's do this. What's holding him up? You know I can't work without a good breakfast. Gee, Jimmy's bringing a box of Kellogg's Sugar Smacks. All the more reason for hurry. Racket is ready without any problems as always, but the biggest question is if the vacuum cleaner works well with the Dremel CNC and I have to say that I am really surprised, but it works so well with the Dremel CNC. Opening of the hose should be a little bit smaller so that under pressure is bigger and it basically would collect the dust even better, but even with this setup it is amazing, because usually after meaning MDF there was a lot of dust all over the workbench on my laptop, basically everywhere and right now there is really nothing. All of the dust is closed in this box. Also this MDF is not super dry so this dust like stick together and it's hard to pick it with this vacuum cleaner. So with wood and probably aluminum it would be even easier to collect all of the dust. I didn't expect this project to work so well and this is definitely one of the best things that I have made in the last few months. I will leave all of the STL files and everything on my Thingiverse. I will probably make also an instructable about this project so make sure to check out links in the description. If you have any idea on how to improve this project please leave that in the comments. I think the biggest improvement can be redesigning the turbine. Maybe more blades, maybe completely different design will help a lot and it will be even more powerful. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to don't miss my next projects. Thank you very much for watching, happy making, bye.